Okay, so if you are watching this video and you're looking to move or relocate to Vancouver, Canada, we are going to go over the eight things you need to know before moving to Vancouver, so stay tuned. Hey everybody, what's going on? Mark here, deep in the heart of Greater Vancouver, and if you're someone that is interested in learning everything about Vancouver, Canada, eating, working, playing, culture, really anything, make sure to click the subscribe button and the notification bell right next to that to make sure that you get notified every time time we upload a brand new video about Vancouver and the surrounding areas here on the channel. Honestly, we get so many people reaching out about moving to or relocating to Vancouver or even within the greater Vancouver area and we absolutely love it. It's what we do on a daily basis. So if you are looking to move, relocate or just want to come and hang out here, make sure you reach out. I will leave some links in the description along with our contact info. We have your back and we want to take care of you. So let's jump into the video, the eight things you need to know before moving to Vancouver, Canada. Number one, the climate. So first we will start with the climate depending on where you are moving from. Uh, you might be surprised for different reasons. First off, in terms of Canadian weather, the West Coast is mild when it comes to extreme cold temperatures in comparison to many other parts of Canada. On average, Vancouver only gets a few snowfalls a year and the snow usually melts away pretty fast as temperatures rarely stay below freezing for too long. In Vancouver, you will get to experience all four seasons in summer, spring, fall, and winter, and they're all beautiful in the city. Are we known to get a lot of rain? Yes, but that comes with amazing greenery and limitless outdoor activities at your doorstep. Number two, accommodations and cost of living. Vancouver has a very high cost of living in, compar in comparison to most other cities in Canada. Much of this is to do with housing costs, whether you're renting or buying, it's going to be expensive. Vancouver was ranked as the world's second least affordable housing market, second only to Hong Kong. On average, for uh, rent for a one bedroom in the city center is over 2,000 and outside of the city center is uh, over 1500 for three bedrooms in the city center you're looking at over 3600 and outside the city center at about $2,800 per month buying property is expensive too but rents are continually on the rise so if you are moving to the city you may want to see what your options are to purchase a place at least this way you can lock in your housing costs and start building equity number three transit Vancouver has been cited as one of the most accessible cities due to the public transit system. You have the C bus to take you across the water to North Vancouver. You have the SkyTrain reaching out to many of the surrounding areas. And of course you have the regular buses filling in all the gaps in between. The city has a three zone transit system. For zone one travelers, it costs about $3 per trip or $98 for a monthly pass. And for three zone travelers, it's just under $6 for a trip and about $180 for a monthly pass. To access the city from some of the sub suburbs farther out, you also have the West Coast Express, a passenger train that travels multiple trips into the city center in the morning and then again back out to the suburbs after work for an incredibly comfortable and fast commute for those who work downtown. The West Coast Express connects Port Moody, Coquitlam, Pitt Meadows, Maple Ridge and Mission, providing an amazing option for those who work downtown to skip all the traffic. As well, if you are living in the city, Vancouver is one of the most cycle friendly cities in Canada. Canada. Number four, jobs and employment opportunities. Vancouver has a wide range of employment opportunities across a wide range of different industries and professions. Construction is an ongoing strong industry in Vancouver, providing all kinds of job opportunities as well as tech. British Columbia, especially Vancouver and Victoria, have really established themselves as incubators to grow and scale tech companies. Supporting this is the BC PNP Tech Pilot, which provides tech employees with the continued ability to recruit and retain international talent when local skilled workers are unavailable. The BC Provincial Nominee Program Tech Pilot offers an expedited immigration pathway for people with tech skills applying to be permanent residents in Canada who will contribute to BC's shared prosperity. Number five, access
access to education. There are two major universities in the area offering world-class education to both domestic and foreign students, UBC or University of British Columbia and SFU Simon Fraser University. UBC is British Columbia's oldest university. The university ranks among the top three universities in Canada with an annual research budget of $600 million. UBC funds over 8,000 projects a year. At UBC, tuition for domestic students runs about $5,600, while tuition for foreign students is around $38,000. Aside from UBC, there is another globally recognized university, SFU or Simon Fraser University, located in Burnaby, the municipality which borders Vancouver. Number six, active lifestyle. Vancouver was recently named one of the healthiest cities in the world in a recent ranking by Travel Supermarket. Vancouver came fifth, and the ranking notes that Vancouver's epic surroundings offer a refreshing dose of the great outdoors. The bottom line is that when it comes to outdoor activities, your options in the Vancouver area are almost unlimited. Connected to the city, you also have Stanley Park, a thousand acre park that borders the downtown of Vancouver. Much of the park remains as densely forested as it was in the 1800s with about half a million trees, some of which stand as tall as 76 meters or 250 feet and are hundreds of years old. On June 18th, 2014, Stanley Park was named the top park in the entire world by TripAdvisor based on reviews submitted. Stanley Park has a 10 kilometer seawall for walking, jogging, cycling, rollerblading that you can enjoy on the beautiful scenery of the ocean. Number seven, culturally diverse. Vancouver is a very culturally diverse city. For a city of two and a half million, approximately one million or 40% of the population are first generation immigrants. Because of this, you do not have to go far to immerse your yourself into other cultures. The city has so many festivals and events throughout the year and on top of this Vancouver is a foodie heaven. Vancouver is spoiled for choice when it comes to dining out. There is there is not a type of food that you cannot find that is being prepared by authentic chefs in of any given culture. And number eight the not so nice area. The downtown east side this is worth mentioning as those who stumble through it unknowingly will think they have been transported into another city for a few square blocks. Now, I'm not going to show a video of, of uh, this area as there is nothing gained by recording homeless people and, you know, obvious social issues. But downtown, the downtown east side has a complex set of social issues, including extremely high levels of drug use, homelessness, uh, and poverty, among other things. Although the social issues in the downtown east side are very obvious, it is not a place that I have ever felt unsafe in. Of course, if you need to go through there, you do want to make sure that you are on a higher alert. Probably take your earbuds out so that you are very aware of your surroundings. But I've never felt intimidated or threatened moving through the area. Okay, guys, so this is going to do it for today's video. The eight things you need to know when moving to Vancouver, Canada. If you're somebody that is looking to move, relocate, or really just hang out with us here in Vancouver, I'm going to go ahead and leave all of our contact information in the description below send us an email shoot us a text give us a call because if you are moving here to Vancouver or relocating within the Vancouver area we have your back we have you covered and we absolutely love doing it it's what we do every single day and we love doing it it's what we're good at so with with that being said my name is Mark I'm from the greater Vancouver area so if you have any questions at all let us know in the comments below and we will see you guys on the next video